as human beings, we are so complex. I mean, I know you have this whole podcast kind of highlighting some of the complexities of human Mm -hmm. beings. So I don't think any assessment, any type will ever fully capture who you are as a human being. Mm -hmm. Um, But how I have experienced it in my personal, you know, life is that it makes me think about things I wouldn't have thought about before. It makes me question, why do I think that? Why do I believe that? Why do I do that? And then also by default allows me to see the other ways that people may be seeing it, which then opens the door, I think, for some more productive conversation rather than accusatory or frustration um, or why do I always do this? You know, those unhelpful kind of introspection questions. This, I think, makes them more healthy um, or healthier. And, and you can take that into therapy. Yes. Um, it gets lumped into the category of a personality assessment or a right. framework. And within that framework, it says that there are nine different types. They're called types on the Enneagram. Um, and I don't see them so much as, and the teachers that I really have gotten the most from don't describe them necessarily as personality types more so as your, um, strategies, like what is your core strategy for getting through life? Um, and so one strategy is to feel connected the type two, um, for example. Um, and so it's not saying, oh, you're a helper, you're a giver, you're a type two. It's In life, in a lot of situations, um, you'll tend to use this strategy unconsciously. Mm -hmm. And I'm not here to tell you who you are, Yeah. um, but here's some insight into maybe how you are approaching life. And so this comes into play with um, kind of the lens that you see the world through. And so am I seeing it through relationships? Am I seeing it through goals? Am I Mm -hmm. seeing it through tasks? And so just having that insight can be really helpful for you. And then also the person or the group on the other end, um, on the other side of that lens and knowing that they have, they have their own lens. Okay. That's one of the biggest questions that I get is I'm this way at home, or Mm -hmm. I was this way when I was 25, but now I'm 45 and at work, I'm this way. Um, and the, the, what I always say is that hopefully your behavior will change, um, Mm -hmm. as you grow and also, you know, in those environments, you, you have to kind of tweak your behavior, Mm -hmm. but most likely what won't change again, is that motive that, that kind of fire behind the behaviors. Mm. And that tends to be the same. How you present will be different. And I will sometimes use the example of like a a knife or a fire. The fire is the fire. If you want to cook s'mores with it, you can cook s'mores with it. If you want to burn down a house, you can also burn down a house. Um, But the fire is the fire. And so it's what I wish they would ask, but maybe just understand is that this work is forever. Mm-hmm. And so it, it's like anything, it's like, you know, therapy, any type of personal growth. It's not necessarily that you're like, oh, I know that I'm a type. I'll just keep picking on myself. I'm a type seven and, um, oh, I know that I do this and okay, we are done here done and done. <laughs> yeah. so we're done. I truly believe that self-awareness is a form, if not the ultimate form of self-care because what it's almost forcing you to do is to check in, kind of take an inventory and see what, what do I need? Do I need more water? Do I need more exercise? Not just because somebody said that I Mm -hmm. did, but like, I'm going to start thinking for myself. And then it's like, do I need more rest or do I need to be actually more out there? Mm -hmm. Do I need to ask for help or do I need to actually jump into action and see what I can do on my own? And so there's a lot of great advice out there, whether it's self-care or how to be more confident or how to be successful. The challenge is knowing what is going to work for you 
mm-hmm. where you are in your life right now. And so things like the Enneagram can help you start to gain some of that insight.